been in St. Louis, all over the country, uh, WBLS, and countless, countless stories, the minister of hip hop, countless stories of just an icon and a friend to my family. Would you say some words for the comment? Thank you, thank you, Brother Jeffrey. And as Brother Jeffrey said, I'm Reverend Conrad Tillard. I'm the pastor of Nazarene Congregational Church in Bed-Stuy. And I am a candidate in the 36th running for the City Council District, Bed-Stuy and Crown Heights. But I'm not here today as a candidate. I'm here as a family friend. I knew James Davis very, very well. In fact, uh, I, w I, I, I stand today with Brother Jeffrey uh, and Mother Davis and let me say to Brother Jeffrey that I am a big brother. I have two younger brothers. My younger brother, youngest brother is 10 years younger than me. He is the assistant pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. And I am extremely proud of him. So I know that James Davis, number one, was proud of Jeffrey Davis. And I can tell you now that looking down on his brother and his mother, he's peacock proud and hallelujah happy at what they're doing. Give Jeffrey and Mother Davis a hand. James Davis and I were two dashing ministers in the community. We were a part of what you call a mutual admiration society. I was in the streets of Bed-Stuy, Harlem, South Bronx, South Jamaica, Queens, fighting violence, and he was on the police force fighting violence and in the ministry fighting violence. In 1993, when 30,000 people, we organized 30,000 people at the Jacob Javits Center, and we said, stop the killing, James E. Davis was with us. My brothers and sisters, we must keep his legacy alive, his work alive, because James Davis loved his people. He was willing to lay down his life for his people, and he ultimately gave his life. But it's so wonderful that even in giving his life, look at what has been reborn in his name. He, still he speaks from eternity, saying, stop the violence, love yourself, stop the violence, keep hope alive, keep unity in the community. Let me close by saying, that uh, Brother James Davis, since I know him so well, let me say this. James Davis, had, he was the most charismatic politician in the history of New York City, I'm convinced. He said to me one day, I'm going to be mayor of this city. And you know what, my brothers and sisters, had he lived, he would have been. I, I would say this, but it sounds funny, but it's coming from a brother that has love. I went to a debate. Because I became James Davis' constituent. I moved to Fort Greene. I voted for James Davis. I went to a debate with James Davis at the Church of Open Door. And I left there convinced, just shaking my head. I said, James Davis has got more game than Parker Brothers. He was wonderful in charisma. His smile was beautiful. And he cared about the people. And so, Jeffrey, keep the legacy alive. There are many of us in the clergy that will continue to stand with you and your family because the work you're doing is indispensable. We must stop the killing of our young people, and this is an important institution in that work. Stony the road, sometimes you're going to try. Sometimes, Mother Davis, bitter will be the chastening rod. But remember, felt in the days when hope unborn had died, but yet with a steady beat. Have not our weary feet come to the place for which our Father sighed. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come shedding our blood through the path of the slaughter, but out from our gloomy past, till now we stand at last trumpeting the message of stopping the violence. We're going to march on until victory is won. March on, Jeffrey. March on, Mother Davis. March on. Let's stop the violence. Love yourself. Keep hope alive in our community. God bless you. Lift every voice and sing till I